a lot of people up here don't know much about you. Can you, how would you describe yourself and what would you like people to know about you? Uh, I'm a fun guy. Uh, obviously, I love the game of basketball. Um, I mean, it's just more questions you have to ask me um, in order for me to tell you about myself. I just can't give you a whole spiel. I don't even know where you're sitting at. <laughs> <laughs> He's right there. Yeah, the glasses, there you go. All right. yeah. <laughs> Ask something. Mm -hmm. Sorry, next. Right. Kawhi, Paul Jones, the Raptors broadcast crew. What were your uh, initial thoughts when you heard you'd been traded to Toronto? Um, excited. Knowing I'm coming to a great city that loves basketball, great organization, and uh, uh, happy that Danny was coming with me as well. Mike? Kawhi, Michael Grange from uh, Sportsnet. You got me? Okay. <laughs> the, uh, I, mean, I mean, you played your whole career for Greg Popovich in the Western Conference. What are you personally curious about or excited about uh, when it comes to changing teams, changing conferences, changing coaches. That's, that's a lot of new stuff. Uh, like I said, I'm excited about the city, uh, knowing that uh, they're a basketball city. Uh, their fans come out, show a lot of energy. And, uh, you know, just be able to get on the next journey. You're over there. Vivek Jacob, Raptors Republic, uh, Kawhi and Danny. What excites you the most about this roster, about the guys that are already on there? Ah, they included me, okay. <laughs> oh, I was wondering if I was gonna get to talk today, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. <laughs> the roster, I'll take this one since Kawhi took the others. Um, I'm excited about, you know, playing with a lot of the young guys. Um, for the last couple years in San Antonio, we've had a very mature group. I won't call them old, but, um, we had some older guys, which no experience, but you know it's a different role for me being the vet in the locker room, and the oldest guys are like me, Kyle, CJ. We're only we're in our young 30s, but I'm excited to play with you know a younger group of guys, getting up and down, you know faster pace, and and also be able to play with another passing big and uh, Valanciunas. So, but we have a we're a very deep team, a, a lot of you know threats, a, a lot of good pieces. And I'm, I'm excited to see you know, how everybody fits in and how, how well we can play together. Danny, for you personally, you talked about not really being healthy last year. How are you uh -huh. feeling coming into this? Feeling pretty good right now. Um, you know, the training staff has done a wonderful job with helping me get to where I'm at right now. We're going to stay on top of it, continue to you know, you know, stick to the process of keeping the body right. Um, that's the biggest key for the whole season. And, uh, you know, hopefully I can sustain that and, and you know, play a, a healthy season all year. Eric. Eric Corrine, The Athletic. Welcome to both Kawhi and Danny. Uh, Kawhi, where are you at physically and what was your work like uh, this summer as you progress towards full health? Um, right now I'm, I'm feeling great. Uh, I'm ready to play basketball throughout the summer. Worked on my body. Uh, took it step by step. Um, just getting fully healthy, getting ready to, to make this extra step this season. Question back there. Kawhi, Tom Orsborne with the San Antonio Express News. What specifically went wrong for you in San Antonio? And did you lose face, faith with the medical staff? And uh, are you disappointed or do you have any regrets about what happened? Uh, I have no regrets, but... Uh, I want to focus on this team, uh, this journey that we have in front of us today, and uh, just stay in the present time and not look back. What's up, Tom? How you doing, man? Yeah. You knew that was coming. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question, Bruce Arthur at the back. Bruce Arthur, Toronto Star here in the back row for Kawhi. Every superstar in this league has a set of goals in terms of how they want their career and life to look. Um, and what they want by the time their career is over to have accomplished and where they want to have accomplished it. What do you want out of your career in the NBA? Uh, just to be able to be healthy. I mean, that's my number one goal. Uh, play a long, healthy uh, you know, career. 
able to be dominant uh, wherever I land. And uh, that's about it. Um, you know, I want to win championships, um, getting those record books. Danielle. Uh, Danielle, City News, at the back here. Uh, Kawhi, have you had a chance to talk to some of your new teammates, and what have they told you about the city and playing in Toronto? Uh, I got to talk to a few of them. Uh, you know, they just said uh, Toronto is a great city, uh, beautiful, uh, a lot to do um, outside of basketball uh, with your family. And, um, you know, they're just excited for the season as well. Um, that's what we all are. We, we have opportunity, like I was saying before, and, you know, we're ready to get started. Perhaps, Kawhi, you can address the, whether or not you want to play here and whether you think you can make a home here in Toronto. Uh, I want to play here. Um, you know, as long as I have on a jersey, I want to play basketball. Um, I came here with an open mind. Uh, you know, I want to do great things. So I'm going to make sure that, you know, I put my all effort on the court each and every night. And, you know, by winning games, this is how you, you know, get star uh, caliber players to want to come here and play. Steve. Kawhi. Steve Simmons, Toronto Sun, to your left. Here. Mm -hmm. um, since the trade was made, the question has sort of centered all over the basketball world, but certainly in this city, about whether this would be a long-term commitment for you or a one-year, one-and-done. How do you view your time coming in here, and do you look at this as a long-term commitment? Uh, I, look at, I look at it as a day-to-day -day process. Uh, like I said, my focus, on is the, my focus is on this year, uh, this group that I have and uh, striving to get to a championship. Um, we all want to win. And if you're looking in the future, you're going to you know, trip over the present. So all right, this is what I'm focused on is this year, uh, tomorrow, and just keep going after that. Josh. Josh Lewinberg, TSN. First of all, welcome, guys. Kawhi, have you had a chance to speak with Kyle yet? And how do you think? He can help make you a better player. How do you think you can help make him a better player? Uh, just experience, uh, telling us uh, each other like what we've both been through. Uh, him already playing in the East, and uh, you know, going through this schedule this season, and uh, you know, just in my experience of you know how we got uh, deep in the playoffs, won championships. Danny could also help us with our conversation. Uh, that's about it. We just got to, you know, keep asking each other questions. And once we play together, that's where you learn the most from each other. Why, what, um, what has this organization and Maasai, what have they done to try and sell you on this city? Uh, and Maasai, maybe you can answer that as well, because I think you mentioned that, that you would have this year to try and sell Kawhi on staying here long term. So if you could start Kawhi, and just what has this organization done to try and sell you on Toronto? Uh, you know, he's just telling me that they want to win. Uh, that's all you want from our organization. Uh, you know, just saying, just you guys having the same path and same mindset of, you know, trying to get to a certain goal. Kawhi, how have your first meetings with Nick Nurse, uh, how have those meetings gone? And what, what have you guys talked about that's kind of encouraged you about uh, what lies ahead this season? Uh, they've been great. Uh, spoke to him about the offense and um, how we can incorporate me into it and just seeing what I could do to make his job easier. Just bouncing ideas back and forth off each other, pretty much. Just, you know, just seeing his schemes and, you know, how he thinks. Uh, and that's about it. But, I mean, it's a long road ahead of us. And like I've been saying, we've got to just take it one step at a time and don't skip any steps.